Hey guys, I wanna tell you about a special small group I'm offering this summer. It's called an equipping group, and this is an advanced small group for Trinity Church members. We're gonna be taking a deep dive into the role and ministry of the Holy Spirit. And so we're gonna be looking at scripture, getting a deep theological framework for who is the Holy Spirit, what does the Holy Spirit do, and, and how do we engage with Him. But then also beyond that, it's gonna be an experiential small group. So we're gonna have opportunity to actually explore the power and the ministry of the Holy Spirit. So we're gonna be diving into the spiritual gifts and we're gonna be looking at how can you prophesy? How do we have faith to pray for the sick? How should we think about dreams and visions? You know, words of knowledge, words of wisdom, all these different things, tongues and interpretations, all these different things that are mentioned in scripture. We wanna get clarity on them, but we also want it to have faith to grow in actually how do we move in some of these things. So this is for Trinity Church members, which means you need to have completed all four sessions of the growth track, as well as attended the new member ceremony, okay? So if that's you, please join this group. It is especially for you to go deeper and to grow. So go ahead and sign up and I'm looking forward to it. Hey Trinity, it's Adam here. Just a quick note to let you know that I'm leading a small group where we are going to be reading the letter to the Hebrews. You know, the early church suffered a lot of persecution and this letter served as a reminder and an exhortation to them to stick to the faith and to trust in God's promises. There's a lot of great memory verses that we're gonna be uh, going over in our group. We'll be meeting on Wednesdays at the church building, 7 p.m. Hope you can join us. Hi, I'm Jim, she's Karen, and we're the Houstons. And we're doing a small group but this one's a little bit different than any of the other ones you've ever seen because it's gonna be in the morning. It's gonna be on Friday mornings. And Karen's now gonna go and explain the rest of it to you. Yes, yeah, so we'll be meeting at our house, which is very close to Trinity, on Friday mornings at 10 a.m. We'll serve coffee and maybe some treats. And we're doing a book called Your Powerful Prayers. Hope to see you soon. All right, back to small groups. It's happening. We have been on a little break and it is starting very, very soon. Can I have all of my small group leaders who are here, please stand up. We've got Adam, we've got Matt, we've got Karen. Jim is somewhere in the house. He's waving over there. Woo! Um, <laughs> yes, we are very thankful for all of our small group leaders. Also in your welcome packet, you would have received a small group pamphlet, I believe, with codes, and you can put those codes in, where do they put them in? On their communication card somewhere? Write them in the comment section. Next steps, perfect. Okay, yeah, try a small group, and then you can fill, it's down here. You want to check this box, this group, and then put in your code. It's very exciting. Um, oh, is Sam here? I have not connected with Sam. Sam! Sam's gonna come down and just tell us his story about his experience in small groups, but he has a little bit of a ways to walk, so <laughs> we can, Sam, Sam, okay. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, can you hear me all right? Yeah, all right, great. Uh, my name is Sam, for anyone who doesn't know me. Uh, I've been coming to Trinity for a few months now. I'm loving it here. Um, so this past small group semester, I was part of uh, the small group uh, led by Jafet and Amanda. Uh, we went through Luke together uh, and gathered at the Sweetman's house uh, every week. Um, and it was really a great time together. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I feel like this is gonna be very scatterbrained, but uh, the main things I'd wanna say is like, I'd encourage everyone to join a small group if you can. Um, even if you can't make it to every single week, it's just super helpful. Uh, for me personally, I felt that it was very helpful just uh, getting time every week to discuss the Bible with other believers. And it was really encouraging, like just seeing how other people viewed the Bible and uh, seeing how people were unafraid to come with questions. Um, that was really encouraging to me. I feel like there were a number of people in our group who uh, yeah, really had no fear of like, 
bringing any doubts they had and just being fully honest, which is super cool to see because uh, I've heard people say before, like, God isn't scared of any of our questions. And I think that's a good mindset to have. Um, yeah, small group was great because uh, it was just an opportunity to just gather regularly and feel more connected to the church. Uh, it was a great way to meet people as someone who is pretty new at the church. Um, and I definitely recommend that anyone who's able should join a small group. Uh, I think that's all I have. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Sam. That's so great. And scatterbrained, you're in good company. I feel like every time I get up here, I give a scatterbrained version of announcements. So I don't know why I'm on this team, but I'm on this team. You're welcome. See if you can stay with me. Okay. Um, Next announcement is um, next Saturday, we have our youth camp fundraiser here in Edgewater right outside on the lawn. So come and buy stuff and meet our neighbors and raise money for youth camp. It's going to be great. Um, it is going to be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. <laughs> I know. Um, it's going to be from 9 to 5. Um, you can still bring things to donate. I think today is technically the last day. So if you live close, run home and bring some stuff and bring it back. Um, and I think, oh, you can bring stuff of the morning. Awesome. Yes. Um, bring stuff that morning for us to sell. And then our last announcement is, um, on June 16th, which is Father's Day, um, we will be celebrating the dads. We will be singing Good, Good Father. Thank you, Akemini. And we will, um, be celebrating with lots of donuts, copious amounts of donuts. It is delicious. It is a great excuse to eat a donut or five. Um, so come on June 16th for Father's Day. Bring your dad, bring your father figure, come and eat. It'll be great. Okay. Um, Lastly, we just want to thank everyone who has given uh, to Trinity. We None of this would happen on a Sunday throughout the week if it were not for your generosity. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for those who have given. If you would like to give today, there are copious amounts of ways to give. You can give online through the envelope that you got in your welcome packet or via text. So, um, and we, as always, we want to give out of a heart of generosity, never out of guilt. Um, so... Yeah, if you're feeling guilty, don't give. <laughs> give out of generosity. All right, I think that's everything that I have. Matt is going to come up and say some more things. Let me tell you a couple of quick things. Um, oh, firstly, I mentioned this last week, but I want to just mention it again in case you missed it. But our update on our tangible community offering, our sacrificial offering, we have a slide here for it, I believe. Our uh, The offering this year totally, actually it's up, it went up. It's $48,810. <laughs> So our grand total is six hundred and twelve thousand eight hundred and sixty nine and twenty three cents. There you go. And our down payment goal is eight hundred fifty thousand. So if you have the difference, just write a check. That's all you need to do. That would be awesome. But um, this represents that that six hundred uh, six hundred twelve thousand dollar number represents sacrificial giving from our church over many years. And this has been a long term journey, long term vision. When I when we started this. Many years ago, I told people like, hey, it's going to be a while. Like, you know, obviously God can do anything, but we've got a plan for the long term. We're on, we're on Bible time. That's the one thing that a lot of Christians get confused about. We're on our time. Our time doesn't count for anything. The only time that counts is Bible time. And Bible time is way longer than our time. So um, that's the thank you so much to everyone who's given. You can still give towards it. We're trying to buy this building. We believe God has it uh, in our future. He can change the plans if he wants to, but that's we're responding in obedience and faith, so that's where we're at so far. If you have any questions, uh, please ask. Uh, we're very excited about that, so thank you. Uh, very quickly, talk about growth track. Uh, we have a slide for this as well, but you're going to go into the lobby afterwards. You're going to pick up your packet. Growth track is about finding your place in God's purposes. It is for everyone. We have four steps. I went. I jumped slides. I'm sorry, I jumped. Uh, I'm scatterbrained too, guys. Um, Step one is learn about Trinity, then discover your design, then pursue depth, then world changer. And uh, I want to encourage everyone, everyone, everyone. Maybe you started, maybe you stopped, maybe you haven't done it for a bit, maybe you got stuck somewhere, maybe you've just been hesitant. You're like, ah, just. I've had people. I've had a few people tell me. I, I hear different things about the growth track. I hear some people say, I loved it. It was amazing, easy to go through, no problem. I hear a few other people say, I just. Whenever I think about it, I just feel resistant. Ooh, I just don't want to do it. I don't know what your problem is, but it's a, it's a blessing. It's good. It's, it'll help you. So I'll, I'll be out in the lobby afterwards. I can talk to you about growth track, but I'd love you to go through it. 
Um, go to that next slide. What you're going to do is you're going to sign up on the tablets. You're going to grab your booklet. We do Growth Track uh, most Sunday nights online at 10 a.m. We'll take you through the booklet, and uh, then you'll eight. What did I say? I said 10 a.m. Wow. I don't remember that. I uh, I trust you guys. I trust you guys. Um, so <laughs> it's at 8 p.m. on Sunday nights, not at 10 a.m. All right. Lastly, we are welcoming new members today. Very exciting. So I have the list. If you're not on the list, I apologize. We'll get you welcomed soon in a few in a few more weeks. But uh, this is the list I have for today. And actually, we have a couple of um, long-term members who are recommitting their membership as well. So that's very exciting. So I'm going to call your names. Come up and line up next to me here. So we have Merrick and Catalina. We have Andrew. We have Diamond. We have Taylor. And we have Maya. Come on up, guys. Ooh, yeah. You guys get a fancy little booklet here. Little packet, little welcome packet. Take one and pass it along. Pass them down. I think that should be the right amount for everybody. So what does it mean to become a Trinity member? Uh, Merrick's, been, Merrick's been with us for a long time. How long have you been around for, dude? 12, 13 years. That's awesome. So, And Taylor, too. Actually, longer than Merrick. 14 years. Wow. Yeah. Taylor wins. Because <laughs> it's a competition, because everything's a competition. <laughs> um, it's really important, you know, obviously as, a Christ as Christians, we're a part of the body of Christ, right? We're all in, in his family, in his church, in a big sense. But also God does call us to be a part of um, a local community, uh, you know, an individual church as well. And it's important that we, as Christians, we make our best effort to give ourselves to being formed into disciples, to giving uh, of ourselves to that local community. You know, sometimes I think Christians do themselves a disservice when we float around different places and don't really make that big investment. We really lose out. There's so much depth, so much growth that happens when you really give yourself uh, to one place in a, in a much more profound way. And, and that's what membership is. It's saying, hey, God's called me here. It may not be forever, but it's for at least for this time. And I'm going to give my all here and see how God blesses that. And so that's what these guys have done. They really committed themselves. And so we're grateful. Uh, we baptized, recently baptized Maya, who's a new believer as well. Yeah. Yep. So we're very excited. Uh, so thank you guys for recommitting, and also uh, for those of you who recently joined us uh, going through the membership process, be blessed in your commitment. And if you don't, if you guys here, you know, you members here, if you don't know any of these guys, get to know them. They're part of the family. They're, they're all in. And uh, we're, we're a community, which means we get got to get to know each other. And that takes effort and work. So put in the work. There you go, in a good way. All right, guys. One more round of applause, and you guys can sit down. <laughs> 